Hello there, my name is Aaron Robbins, and welcome to another fantastic Magica voxel tutorial demonstration. Today we're going to go over the axis and mirror properties located in the brush column over here. So it's going to be a very quick video. The mirror stuff you can probably figure out, but I'm still going to explain it. Um, but the axis stuff, which actually used to be called loft in previous versions of Magica voxel, um, is pretty fun. So let's get right into it. First, I'm just going to create a box for demonstration uh, purposes, and we'll just pick that color because it seems like uh, the best one to do. And we'll draw a box here and then use the face uh, brush here to pull it up. Okay, so let's talk about the axes. We have the uh, X axis and Y is currently going away from us. And in Magica Voxel, uh, Z goes up in space there. So what the axis commands do, or what the axis modifier does, is it tries to carry um, whatever operation you're doing all the way through the model. If you've used Cubicle, the other one of the other uh, voxel editing programs, this command is known as Pierce. Um, so let's take a look at how it works. All I'm going to do is select the uh, voxel brush here, and I'm going to select Erase. And first I'm going to turn the x-axis off. Um, and also since we're going to work in x, let's put x going away from us. Uh, this way, so it'll be a little easier to see this. And now when I normally erase, um, just like this, you can see it just goes one deep. Each time I make uh, a click and then an operation, it just goes um, one deep there. And if I were to paint something on here, um, that would just paint one deep. And you're like, well, I don't know that because I can't see into the model. And you're right, but if we spin it around, no paint on the back there. So what Axis does is attempts to carry that operation all the way through the model. So I'm just gonna keep painting here. And, I mean, let's try to make it at least a little bit neat. And then, like that, and then we'll switch back to the uh, eraser mode here, and we will cut uh, into the model here. And you can already see that with the X axis selected, it carried that operation all the way through the model, uh, even the painting one as well. And you can do this in Y as well, which just take a look, the yellow one is Y, and it's moving across that way. So if I erase, it's gonna pull them horizontally across the screen there um, so that we can rotate the viewport um, so you can really quickly kind of deform or get rid uh, of the voxels or even add the voxels. I will say the one thing about adding them is that it does it to the length of your work area not the length of the model you're working on. Especially noticeable if you do this in Z and try to uh, add something like a column here it's going to shoot all the way up into the sky and make some cool jail bar uh, type of things. So that's how Axis works. It attempts to carry the command erase paint or whatever move it doesn't apply to but attach erase or paint tries to carry that operation all the way through space um, through your model. All right, so let's go ahead and zero that out using the zero tool over there. And we're going to go back to the trusty box brush and grab that color because it's definitely the right one. And we're just going to draw out another box here and then use face one to pull it up right there and talk about mirroring. And the line tool works really good for talking about mirroring. Mirroring does pretty much what you think it does, but maybe not in the way that you think it does. So again, across X, um, you know what, let's do Y. So the Y is moving horizontally here. It's the yellow one in the back. So let's mirror across Y. So if I draw here, it mirrors that drawing operation on the other side of the screen there, on the other side of the axis. And the only part that's, it's not even confusing, it's just the way it works, is that it, it does mirror that operation over the origin or the center point or the pivot point. Um, of the whole work area, of the world, not of the object. So it didn't calculate the center or pivot point of this object and then mirror it right on the other side here. What it did was it found the origin of the entire work area and mirrored it over there. So if you mirror in all directions, starting at the corners, um, it looks great and you can easily outline things. And also if we tilt the camera up, we can see that it mirrored it in um, Z as well. But if we start on the box, you can see it does not allow us to sort of outline the box. And so there's one little trick for that, and it works really well when you're using when you're using a lot of uh, when you're making smaller objects in Magic of Voxel, and then your plan with those smaller objects is to save them off and then bring them back into a different scene as a pattern later. Um, this works really well. I don't know if it works in other situations, but one thing you can do is actually use this shrink size thing over here by the uh, work area dimensions, and it's gonna shrink the work area to just the model you have created. Then you can go ahead and scale that back up, scale the work area back up, and your model is now centered, and the mirroring commands will actually now be centered on your model, allowing you to um, outline it. And you're thinking, hey, but there's a pixel 
that is missing over on this side. Why is that? And that is because when we use the shrink command, we have an, an what do I want to say, an odd number here. This 43 is the one causing the problem. So if we go back up to 90 and we fix that problem here by using the face tool, uh, we'll get rid of the mirroring options and just put on one more thing there. That's definitely not uh, what we wanted to do. We want to use the surface color to bring that out. There you go. Um, then when we shrink, you can see now we have all uh, even numbers. And now our mirroring command, or our mirroring thing will mirror not only across the world, but since our object is now in the middle of the world, uh, it'll be perfectly wrapped around um, our object. So I hope that made sense. That's how the axis or loft command works and how the mirroring command works. The only thing uh, to be aware of is when you put the Z on here, um, you don't see anything's happening. It's not because the object is not centered um, vertically in the world. We still have those guys uh, up there. So that's how axis and mirroring works. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel for more videos coming out pretty much right after this one. Thanks for watching.